Here's another real basic idea for keeping cover band music interesting, emphasizing the inherent tonal properties and timbre of the guitar, much as has been done for most of the history of the electric guitar and the music that I uh, recall from the last 20 or 30 years in particular. There's just a recent style out there, and I, I mean, in my very humble opinion, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Uh, it appears in a lot of uh, uh, country and pop songs uh, where the guitar just falls back in the mix, where it doesn't really have to. And I don't mean necessarily a, a quiet, uh, low, uh, uh, relaxed tempo song, primarily emphasizing vocals. I mean up-tempo songs where it used to be there the guitar would show up all over the mix and you'd have a few guitars at once. I happen to personally think that... It, sound is a lot more interesting and exciting. Now look, there are a lot of opinions out there. Uh, his opinion may vary. Her opinion may vary. Okay, I get it. A lot of opinions out there. But this is my view, and I think it would be more likely to pe keep people coming back in a cover band situation if the guitars stood out in the mix. So, real quickly here, if you uh, set up my, uh, my cheap camera here, few real quick examples of the sound that I'm not the biggest fan of here. All right. Okay. Or, uh, Okay, or uh Okay, all right. I mean, that's uh, um, that's uh shows up in in different types of songs you hear today. Okay, people could be uh there are fans of that music, okay, people can accomplish a lot with that, I get it. I prefer the sound where the guitar stands out in the mix, okay? And uh, I think that is ultimately a little bit more interesting and exciting to people. Now, again, I'm not talking about a slower tempo song uh, where you're trying to emphasize vocals or another instrument. I'm talking about, again, those progressions which were more up-tempo. So, for instance, what I might do with those, okay, to keep them, uh, to emphasize some of the inherent tonal properties of the guitar, add a little bit more to it. Okay, and by the way, there are some uh, licks from songs past in there. Okay, definitely, uh, if one took the time, I'm not necessarily saying that's uh, a, an example of several different styles or uh, a, 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 an encyclopedia of licks there, but if one looked at it, you could find four or five different examples of uh, how different uh, approaches to uh, guitar playing from other songs in the past showed up there. Uh, and uh, certainly, you know, it's been done before, but on my point is, hey, let's continue it. Let's keep the guitar in the mix. All right, taking that other uh, progression. <laughs> Mm-hmm.
Okay, and I could go on, right? But I think the distinction is probably clear there. All right, as far as the other progression, uh, this is what you could do. Okay, that may sound familiar, okay? Uh, and uh, I like how it was originally done uh, in that particular tune. Uh, it emphasized the rhythmic characteristics of the guitar, the inherent tonal properties and timbre that this instrument offers. Okay, or you could uh, apply it to other genres too, the same principle. And uh, perhaps as such is what you could do if you're looking for a bit more of a uh, uh, more classic uh, uh, traditional sound from another genre, we'll say. <laughs> Mm-hmm.